Hey there friends, on today's video, we are going to be replacing these bad fence pickets. You can see I'm missing some here and here. We basically just need to take some of these bad ones down and put up some new ones. It's actually pretty simple. Let's get into it right now. Okay, here are a couple tools that are gonna make our life easier with this project. First, we have a Ryobi drill. This is actually an impact driver. It just has a little bit more horsepower. I really like using this, but you can also use a screwdriver if you are down to uh, really just bare bones. I also have a chop saw. This is a DeWalt chop saw. Again, you can use any kind of saw, and that's simply to get the right length on our picket. So obviously that's the last thing we need is our new picket in order to put up. The other thing you obviously are gonna need are some new screws potentially. These are actually older ones that I already took out. And so if they're in decent shape, you can potentially reuse them. Okay, so this is the bad picket right down here that we're obviously going to be taking out. And you can see this picket is actually attached to the back of the fence with some two by fours and two screws that punch in here. And then it was down at the bottom, the exact same thing down here on this two by four that goes across the back. You can see how it's kind of mirrored on these other pickets. So this is where the fence broke off, but I am gonna to have to unscrew this little guy down here in order to get both sides off. So again, you can use a screwdriver if you wanna do this by hand. Much, much easier if you can come in here with your driver make sure it's in reverse position and then just pull out those screws again you can save these if you want the screws and those can be reused if they are in good shape let me get this one down here at the uh, the bottom okay obviously once the screws are taken out we can just remove this entire picket here see that it broke in two places I'm just gonna put this down over on the side yard right here. And uh, basically we can take off this little guy as well. Okay, so as you can see, that is now ready for that brand new picket. Now the next thing we need to do is obviously measure the old picket so we have the right cut length for our new picket so that it will actually match these other guys. Now, something to take note of, this is kind of a weird fence line here because there's a little bit of a trench that goes down in here. Normally the fence would sit just a touch above the ground and that prevents it from sitting up against the dirt and potentially rotting. In this case, again, we're just gonna mirror the other ones just to make the video easy. Okay, our next job is to actually cut this new picket here to length. Now, here's what's interesting. This is actually roughly the same size as this old one, but that's why I'm using the old one as kind of a template. So what I usually do is just stick it right on top of there, kind of line up the tops here. And then we can look and go down to the bottom and we can figure out what our cut length is going to be. Now, again, if this had been shorter, like maybe over in this general area, we know we can draw a line right here and that's where we'd use our chop saw to chop this uh, down and get it to the right length. Again, look at this, it's exactly the same. So we're gonna be able to use this just exactly as is. Okay, so let's get our new picket into place. Basically, I'm just gonna stick it down kind of where the old one was and we can center it up. As you can see, it's a little bit low right here if it's resting on the ground. And so we're just gonna lift that up just a touch until we match kind of the top here. And that's where we know we need to drill in. Again, you're gonna place your screws right here so that it goes into that sustaining two by four that's in the back there. Same thing on the bottom. You can make sure things are kind of lined up nice and straight. Also, another little hack I'll use if I'm working alone. So I'll take a Sharpie and I'll just mark where the screws should go. And I can do a little bit of pre-drilling with those screws to get them in there. And that way it's a little bit easier if you're holding this again off the ground without anybody else's help. Okay, we've already drilled one of the screws in. What's nice about getting one in is everything else is usually supported, making it a little bit easier to screw the others in. So let's go ahead and just punch this guy in. Again, I'm using these old screws because they still have some life left. All right, there we go. We got two down here and we got two in the top. That's gonna hold real nicely, looks pretty decent. Again, you can obviously tell the color difference, so if you wanna use a stain. Otherwise, just a little bit of time out in the weather and these begin to look like each other. All right, friends, I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of these pickets uh, shaped up and replaced. I hope this has helped. If it has, would you guys please hit that thumbs up button for us? Let us know we're making good videos. Stay tuned, we're doing a whole bunch more DIY, fix it, review type videos. Those are coming up really soon. Thanks for watching.